Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Time Pro ABAP and in the previous videos, we took a requirement based upon that requirement. We designed the layout, we have written the logic and we got the expected result. Now in this video, we will start with the concept of assistance class in Web Time Pro ABAP. What is the purpose of assistance class? Why we are going for assistance class in WebDine Pro ABAP? Generally, if you are appearing for the interview on WebDine Pro ABAP, it is high probability the question will be from this particular topic. So firstly, word itself is saying it is used to assist the WebDine Pro component. So this class is used to assist our web time pro component. Anyways, whenever topic will proceed, we will understand why, why we are going for assistance class. So what is assistance class first? For each web time pro component, we can create a uniquely assigned assistance class. Suppose if I will go for our web time pro component, this is our web time pro component. So firstly, where we have the provision for the assistance class. So if I will double click on to our web time pro component, here we have a provision to pass the assistance class and you can only pass one assistance class. That's why it is written uniquely assigned assistance class. So here you will pass the assistance class for this particular web time pro component. Whenever you are going for your own assistance class, it should, it should inherit from this particular abstract class. What is the name of the abstract class? CL underscore WD underscore component underscore assistance. It means whatever the class we are creating, what will be the super class of that class? This will be the super class of that class. It means whatever is into this super class, it will automatically come into our assistance class. If I will show you this particular class, if I will copy the name and I will go to SC24 transaction code. You all know SC24 is the transaction code for global classes. And you can realize very easily now, yes, at least we require the basic knowledge of ABAP object oriented programming if we want to learn Web10 Pro ABAP. So this is our class. I will display this class. If I will go for the properties, you can see it is a Web10 Pro assistance class and it is a abstract class. If I will go for the methods, we have five methods. You can see three methods are private, but one is public and one is protected. It means whenever you will create your own assistance class, this public and protected method will automatically come into our subclass or you can say subclass, which is our assistance class. And we will use those methods that's why it is mandatory that whatever the assistance class you are creating, it should inherit from this particular class. It means it will be the super class for our own assistance class. Now we will go for two ways. Now you can create assistance class by two ways. It is totally your wish how you are creating. You can create from here. If you are creating from here, ultimately it will navigate to SC24 itself. But is another way. You can individually create through SC24 transaction code and then you can pass here. But the main main benefit is and people always create from here itself. Why they are creating from here? Because whenever you will create from here, this super class will automatically appear. So there is no need for so there is no need for us to manually remember this particular name. If you are individually creating through SC24, 
then you need to pass this particular class and then you can use in your web 10 pro component i will show you both the ways but people always prefer this way because unnecessary why there is a need to remember this particular name so what i will do suppose i will show you firstly first way before i will give the name here i want to show you two things because after that the changes will appear you can see as of now we have only five parts in our web 10 pro component component controller component interface views windows and web 10 pro application there is no such assistance class here whenever i will create we will get one more part as assistance class now whenever i will create assistance class now i will go to component controller if i will go to attributes tab you can see as of now we have only two attributes whenever i will go for assistance class one more attribute will appear here and that will play a vital role and that is extremely important from the interview perspective anyways whenever i will do the practical you will get the clarity so before that itself i am showing you these two things now i will go for i will go for our component so firstly i will create from here itself i will give some name starting with z or y suppose i am saying z assist okay suppose i will give z assist sales order detail ttl suppose i will give i will double click it is saying this class does not exist do you want to create yes i want to create i will go for yes i will save this as a local object now this class created i will simply double click on to this class it will navigate me to sc24 yes i want to save you can see this is our sc24 if i will go to properties tab you can see that super class came automatically this is the main main benefit because sap understand that you are creating a assistance class so sap automatically provide this in the super class if i will go to methods tab you can see that public and protected method automatically came into our own assistance class so we will use this method that's why we are inheriting from this particular abstract class or you can say super class now i will go here you can see previously it was not there now we have a another thing and here we are getting the name of our assistance class so from here itself you can navigate to your assistance class now if i will go to component controller important part will come and that is extremely important from the interview perspective if i will go to attributes you can see we have one more attribute wd underscore assist web then pro assist and you can see this attribute is referring to our class referring to our class this is our class which we gave anyways i will give you more clarity because by this line itself people understand we have a variable which is referring to the class so what is the meaning of this anyways whenever i will start the practical you will get the more clarity now what is the best way to activate just go to display mode right click on your application and activate everything together because that is the good way now okay i think my class is already in the change mode okay i need to go for display mode for the class also i will just firstly activate the class so class is active now i will go for display mode of the component yes it is display mode of the component now i will activate and you can see everything is activated together everything is in our within black color and you can see this is our assistance class super class method automatically everything is here so this is one way to create the assistance class 
and that is most most preferable what is another way people if you are not going by this way you can go to sc24 you can simply go to sc24 transaction code suppose give some name suppose i am saying z assist underscore sales order ttl suppose here i am giving underscore one i will go for create yes i will go for class i will just go for assistance class yes it will be our usual abap class yes i will save this as a local object and i will keep it and you can see here we need to manually pass that particular thing because methods is blank so you can go to properties tab you can click on to super class and you need to pass this particular class manually but ultimately it is totally your wish how you want to go if i will copy this and i will pass now if i will go to methods tab and activate now you can see those two methods came automatically so you can simply copy this class and pass here if i will go for our component here i will simply simply change it to one but at a time you can only pass one class if i will activate if i will press enter and you can see object will also change if i will go to component controller if i will go to attributes now you can see we have the new class now but it is totally your wish how you want to go if i will double click on to this i will simply simply change it to previous one now i will activate so what is the summary of this particular video again topic is important so in this video we started with the concept of assistance class so firstly word itself is saying this class is used to assist our web ten pro component so where you will find the provision of assistance class just double click on to your web ten pro component there you have a provision to pass the assistance class so now but whatever the assistance class you are creating it should inherit from this particular class cl underscore wd underscore component underscore assistance now it is totally your wish how you want to create the assistance class what is one way you can simply simply create from here whenever you will create from here the super class will automatically appear this particular class will automatically appear and methods will be automatically there so is nothing needs to be done from our end then after that i showed you previously there was no such part assistance class after that we got one part of assistance class and in the component controller we got one attribute which is referring to our assistance class itself it is extremely important because in the next video we will write the logic based upon that only after that i showed you another way if you are going through sc24 no problem you can individually create through sc24 itself but in the properties tab in the super class you need to manually pass that and after that you can simply simply pass into your web ten pro component now in the next video we will understand these two benefits based upon that we will use the assistance class into our web ten pro component because ultimately why we are going for this why we are creating we simply created the assistance class but how it is benefited on our web ten pro component that part we will continue in the next video so that's it in this video thank you